Hey everybody, I have a video here for you today, and this is by request, and I was looking over some questions that I had saved from my Q&A video that I never talked about, and sometimes I get a series of questions or comments that comes in at the right time, and I had questions on the UK, and questions on Orion, so I thought I would make this video today because this is something I have uh, looked into recently. I have looked into a few sites in the UK that I have not talked about yet, I have just shown but really haven't gone into, and this is one today. And I noticed a few more uh, messages from people that they aren't getting my notifications. Well, that seems to be a problem on YouTube these days, but as I said in my Q&A video, all I do is just worry about making good videos, and the rest seems to take care of itself, and I'm certainly not going to pout about it. But let's go down to a place in the UK here. The famous Thornborough Henge, and of course the first thing you notice is it's in a slight dog leg here, and do the stars of Orion match here? Well, you, when you put the stars on an overlay, they do match up, so there has been theories that this was built in representation of the belt stars of Orion, and honestly, I do not have a problem with that. That seems to be an underlying thing in a lot of ancient cultures and they tell of uh they tell allegorical stories based on the heavens and then relate them to the stories on earth and i'm going to be going into uh a lot more on orion and stuff that you have not heard before but let's just go down to uh ground level here and just take a peek and these hinges are not small by any means and i'll give you some dimensions here in a second. Now here we are down on street view and these hinges are pretty massive and I'll show you that in a second. They are just not circles. They are circles within circles but here is what we have left today and I guess not a lot of tourism is done here and this site is not visited often but it is pretty famous and it should be. Now I will leave a few websites below, but just some general information here. It says the Thornborough Hengens are thought to be a religious site that is 5,000 years old. So this is coming from roughly the same time as the Watson Brake people were building that site that I talked about a few days ago, and thanks for the interest in that video. It says it compromises the world's only triple hinge complex with two cursors joining the hinges. They are in an area near Ripon, North Yorkshire, noted for its barrows and hinges, that leads in a southeast direction to the three monoliths at the Borough Bridge known as the Devil's Arrows. And there is other sites under the ground here. And here is a look at what they call the Devil's Arrows. And I think, unless I'm reading wrong, that there is only two of these left standing today, the tallest one being 25 feet tall. So those are huge monoliths. And let's just go over to Google Earth here. And this is where they are at. They are right here and right here in this field, I guess. Let's just go down and take a peek. And here they are in this field. Two of them still standing today. Tall monoliths coming from the Neolithic period. But looking at it from overhead, here is one monolith, here is a second monolith, and then I think the third one was right here at one time, according to reports. So that would have made it offset, and this is part of the same Neolithic culture that put in both of these, according to archaeologists. But looking at them from overhead, you kind of notice here that there is circles within circles. So this isn't just one circular hinge, and I'll show you a little better view of that. But these in measurement, well, this is, it seems, the megalithic yard was used here. And I will leave some links below going into the measurements. But one thing that should be pointed out based on the megalithic yard, or I guess whatever unit of measurement you use, this is twice the size as the circular hinge at Stonehenge, exactly twice the size. 
And here we are, perfectly aligned to north. And this is the way they are positioned. Is this based on Orion in the night sky at a certain time? Well, excellent question to be asked. Here is a pic. I guess they have something called the Festival of Beltane. And is that a musical festival or a spiritual festival or both? I, I know I've heard of that, but maybe somebody can answer that. But here they turn the henge into a car park. And that'll give you some idea of how big this area is. But these uh, lanes that connect the hinges, I believe these um, have been added in fairly modern times. Now here is a map, and I believe they say this is made in 1856, but they say the central hinge here was built over a pre-existing cursus, I think that's what they call it, but that is like a lane, and this disappears underneath the city today, and it's totally underground and not seen and kind of lost to history, and there is evidence, I guess, of another one starting up here. But that seems to be an original structure, and the dates of that, well, it goes back a long, long time, because they say these hinges were built around 5,000 or a little over 5,000 years ago. So the dating of this, there's still big questions. Now, when I took a look at this, and in my mind's eye, I just removed all the city mapping here and just concentrated on these hinges, I just got a big smile on my face, because I knew if I looked at Giza, it would just be the exact opposite of what we see at Thornboro, or in complete reverse, but laid out at the same angle. And if you would superimpose that, it would probably make what would look like a perfect X. Just thought I'd show you that. And from overhead, they talk about the Orion alignment, and people have lined them up, and they seem to match very good. But this center hinge, and they say this was the first one built over a pre-existing cursus. But one thing I noticed here, in the circular hinge, the, bi the big one here, on the very outside of it, at the very eastern edge, and we are perfectly aligned here, but there seems to be a bulge, and almost like an arrow on that side of the hinge. And of course, that would have been facing, facing the spring equinox sunrise. The very edge here is its easternmost point. So were they observing the spring equinox sunrise somehow? Well, that is a possibility. And one thing I noticed right away when looking at the center hinge, and they say this was the first one built, and I can't help but think that the first one in Giza, they say, was built, a lot of people, is that middle pyramid assigned to Khafre. And, of course, in front of that pyramid, we have the Sphinx, perfectly aligned to the east, also out in front of that. Just one thing I thought of. And this most northerly hinge is totally engulfed in the woods. And this is what it looks like. Just the hinge going through the trees, all covered up. And going down to the south hinge here, this is what it looks like on Google Earth from up above today. Is there stuff below the ground? Well, let's take a look at it on a LiDAR pick. And this is what it looks like. So we have stuff that we can obviously see above the ground, but these images are good because it gives you just a little better view. It says this about the hinges. All three are unusual in that the banks are constructed from earth of two ditches, one dug around the outside of the hinge and the other excavated inside. In all case, the internal ditch was of neater, better construction, and a broad berm lies between it and the bank. It says a small excavation at the central circle revealed that the banks had once been covered with a layer of gypsum. This would have made them appear gleaming white. Three hinges at Thornborough are part of the ancient English landscape. They follow the same off-center alignment seen at other triple circles in England. Even before the hinges were built, the triple circle was built over 
and existing curses suggesting that Thornborough was already an important ritual center to the Neolithic residents between 4000 and 2000 BC. And although we have little or no idea of what rituals were, or what the rituals were, it is proposed that they were partly astronomical in nature. Now, a little bit more on the orientation to Orion and that original cursus that seemed to be the original structure here. It says, It has been suggested that the three hinges at Thornborough were constructed so to imitate the three stars of Orion's belt. Should this be the case, then one has to question if other triple circle hinges in Britain may have been also constructed for that same purpose, and I have gone into a few of those, and I have found a few more, and one that was found on LIDAR that I'll probably be going into more in the future when I go into this a little more deeply as far as the myth and legends. It says, the first major monument on the site was built around 3500 BC. This was a 1.2 kilometer long processional way aligned so its western end pointed towards the mid-winter setting of Orion. This also meant the eastern end aligned to the midsummer solstice. It says, then around 3000 BC, when the three hinges at Thornborough were constructed, they have been, they appear to have been deliberately laid out to mirror Orion's belt. Not only this, but their southern entrances. And these hinges, hinges as you have noticed, had little entranceways. It says, their entrances frame the rising of the bright star Sirius, which in turn meant their axis aligned on the midwinter solstice. So it seems a lot of astronomical aspects were put into these, and they were centered around Orion and Sirius. And that has cross-culture connection to a lot of places. It says, this astronomical association was emphasized by the banks of the hinges being coated in brilliant white gypsum so they would have shined like stars just like the pyramids of Giza with the casing stones it says Neolithic people surely felt they were at the center of the very cosmos as they worshiped the heavens above putting the white gypsum on these hinges so they shined white connection with the stars in the shape of Orion's belt that all makes sense but I just want to thank those people for those questions and comments on these sites in the UK and a few specifically on Orion. It got me to look back into what I have found lately and there's going to be quite a bit more coming. Hope you thought this was interesting and you all have a very nice day.